Back in 2020, Charlie and Dixie D'Amelio found themselves receiving a ton of backlash after posting a video onto their family's YouTube channel titled Our First Mystery Guest dinner with the D'Amelios, where their private chef made them paella and in it he had included snails. The girls were disgusted and the internet ripped up their reaction to the food, calling them ungrateful amongst other names. And one of the people to call them out at the time was Trisha Paytas. But now Trisha is coming out to apologize for her attack. Charlie had recently gone on Jay Shetty's podcast and talked about her career online. And one of the things that she talked about was being called out online when she was 16 and it bringing her to the lowest point that she's ever been. 16 was really hard for me and I would hear these grown adults every single day. Charlie did this, Charlie did that, Charlie did this. I literally, it was actually right when I hit 100 million, I think I was at the lowest mental state possible and I looked so happy online and it got to the point where I was I was like, I'm not doing this anymore. She went on to say that the people who talked about her have kids now, and what if their kid was the one that was getting talked about and mentioned how these people didn't try to reach out or ever apologize. And I'm just like, like you guys have kids now? Like you guys are, are grown. And first of all, never got an apology through a direct message, never got an apology or anything besides if it was for other people or that they want something from me. And I just like, I wish that they could see what they did to me and how truly horrible they treated me. And like, what if that was your kid? What if, what if that was you? How would you feel? And like, I'm so proud of myself for getting myself through that. And on Trisha's recent podcast, she was talking about Charlie D'Amelio and Dixie and how people were talking about the videos that were going around of them at Walmart. And she was kind of defending the D'Amelio, saying that she wanted to buy their popcorn. So she clearly wasn't feeling the same way that she once did about them. But her co-host Oscar did bring up the fact that Charlie was on Jay Shetty's podcast and told Trisha that she might have been talking about her in that episode as one of the people who made her feel super low when she was a teen because of the videos that Trisha had made back then. And Trisha felt so bad. Charlie said she was on Jay Shetty's podcast. Mm -hmm. a couple days. Yeah, and she said like when she hit 100 million followers, that was like the darkest days of her life or something. Yeah, like, <laughs> wait, why? Did she explain? She was just saying. <laughs> I, didn't, I, no. I saw the clip, I didn't no. see. <laughs> it's just la like awkward laughing because oh, no. I think she's kind of referencing you no <laughs> like subliminally oh, no. she just said like there's a lot of adults who were like really hard on me when oh, i was 16 and yikes. now she said now they have kids and i hope now that they oh my they God. see it. <laughs> it was so a little specific <laughs> i feel like i wasn't too bad on charlie i feel like i was more on dixie with the snail oh yeah i don't think i was too bad because i remember being like well charlie's a kid I think I even, I remember, I this was so long ago, but I do remember specifically saying in a TikTok, like, Charlie is, like, a child. Like, I don't really think bad about her. But maybe she was referencing with Dixie. I don't know, because Dixie I went back and forth for a minute with, um, which also was weird, because she was also just, like, probably 18. I'm, yeah. Uh, so I so apologize to Charlie and Dixie. Now, back then, there was quite a bit of back and forth between Trisha, the girls, and James Charles. James was getting called out for hanging around teenagers. Charlie and Dixie were getting called out for the snail reaction. James called out Trisha. Charlie was crying on TikTok Live. Everyone was coming for each other and it was a huge mess of a situation. So I just did a reaction to this video of the D'Amelios and James Charles having dinner with a chef. And I've seen lots of comments from Dixie saying, like just kind of being really combative and bratty towards people who had criticism of the girls. There's a chef making the food. They're being really disrespectful, just spitting out the food. And they're 19, they're young, but I do think since they are role models on such a big platform, they should be called out when they need to be humbled a little because you see this happen all the time. People get really famous, a lot of followers really quickly. They think they're entitled to 100 million. They complain that they only have 95 million followers. They complain that they have a personal chef and it's just unbecoming. And I don't think it's something to be embarrassed about because they are young girls, but to be catty and bratty in the comments when the people are just like, hey, we're kind of like, this isn't cool behavior. It's just trying to help them learn and ultimately not get canceled because this kind of attitude, it won't get you far. After this video, Dixie tried to address the situation in a TikTok saying that she's super sensitive to food and reacts by throwing up to a lot of things. So 
This wasn't something that she did to be dramatic or rude. It's just how she is and everyone in their life knows that. But at the time, what she said didn't get the best response. Basically, my team knows I throw up a lot. I could throw up at the smell, the thought, or the taste of anything. Okay, so this is coming as constructive criticism and not hate whatsoever. Um, this was not an apology, girl. <laughs> this was not a sincere apology. You're making excuses after excuses after excuses. And you are 19, so you're a legal adult. I, Charlie's a minor, so it's a little different. But she is saying in this clip that her team knows that she'll puke at anything, at the smell of anything. If that's the case, why set her up in this situation with a professional chef in a home getting a private meal cooked? Are they setting up her up for a sabotage? Do they want to make her look bratty? Do they want her make hate? Was this all a PR stunt just to get more views and followers to her? Because if they were going for comedic effects, simple lifestyle, why not feed her fear factor style stuff like cow tongue or pig's heart or stuff they used to feed them? And Charlie's saying, let's have dino nuggets instead with a renowned chef in a private setting. Suspicious. Get a new team, girl. Charlie ended up going live and was addressing the backlash that she had been getting alongside Dixie and wanted people to stop. And she specifically called out Trisha for her comments. The other thing is some people are just getting involved just to get involved. And like, I'm just going to say it, Trisha Paytas, like this is not, sorry, just you have been completely rude to me multiple times saying I'm... She doesn't have a personality. She can't dance. She's basic. Like, you have your own problems. Please stop worrying about mine. Um, and that's all I have to say on that. Quite honestly, I just, like, please stop talking about me. I just, you're not a very nice person. <laughs> Sorry. And Trisha did end up responding back. She specifically goes on to say, Trisha Paytas, you have your own problems. Stop worrying about mine. As if to say, I'm the crazy one on the internet. I'm the mess nobody likes me blah 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 and that's hey that's that's totally fine and i'm not worried about you i'm i'm commentating on poor behavior because that's the only way you're going to be able to grow and change and it looks like you have remorse it looks like you're upset and crying and i am completely sorry if people are telling you to kill yourself that's so wrong on so many levels but you can't <laughs> You can't go James Charles and say, keep my name out of your mouth when your whole career and livelihood is based on social media, people talking about you and watching what you do. It's, it's, you call me out, but why don't we call out people that are actually being harmful and detrimental to your growth? James Charles, your parents. James then started defending the girls on Twitter, which led Trisha to call him out for not taking accountability over the years and saying that he's always the victim somehow. Who the next Tyler Oakley going into obscurity real soon because you have no humiliate, humility, you don't take any accountability. You keep going around, rocking around with no masks, laughing with people with no masks, endangering so many people, and you're always the victim. Oh, you're stealing designs from people? I'm the victim. Oh, you stole a makeup look from someone for your palette? I'm the victim. The only time you've ever been a victim is when your parents allowed you to be friends with a middle-aged woman. Now Charlie is the under- And then James tried to call Trisha out for things in her past. I didn't want to respond to this because I didn't want to give Trisha the attention that she's clearly craving. However, I've now been accused of being a child groomer and this is not an accusation that I'm going to take lightly. Uh, to insinuate that the relationship between Charlie and I is anything other than just a friendship is absolutely disgusting. I don't need Charlie and Charlie does not need me. I became friends with the D'Amelio family as a whole very, very early on because this is all very, very new to them and I wanted to be a friend and a mentor in any way that I possibly could. And Charlie and I, despite not being the same age, had one thing in common, which was coming to the spotlight at a very, very young age. This is something that Trisha has never experienced because the only reason she is in the spotlight is because she has said racist things. She said the N-word, she's done blackface, she offended the trans community, she offended the DID community. She said Hitler wasn't that bad of a guy, voted for Trump, and has started a fight with about every single other creator on this platform. You are in no position to be talking about me and my career, so I highly recommend that you stop starting fights with people that are half your age, pack it up, and work Work on holding yourself and your best friends around you because they and you are the problem. Like I said, it was a messy back and forth where everyone was getting called out at the time. But Trisha tried to say in her recent podcast episode that having her daughter did change her and she was embarrassed about the whole thing, especially because at the start of the girl's career, they had said that they were fans of hers. Because I remember early on, like on TikTok, when I first got on TikTok, like Dixie had commented something on mine, like, oh my gosh, Charlie, look, or something. I don't know, like maybe I commented, I don't know. And I was like, oh, they're like, they know me or they're fans or something. So I kind of, I feel bad. Oh my gosh, that's so embarrassing. 
<laughs> well, I do have children now and they do change you. So thank you. I'm a changed person. And I'm so sorry to Charlie. Oh my God. Could you, like, I think about that. Like, could you imagine if you actually like ruined, if I like ruined her life or something? Like she was so depressed. <laughs> I think it's not what if she's like depressed from then? She has like PTSD, and I like re- I did that to but her. Also, oh it wasn't God. just like there was a lot of people saying the same thing. But do they all have kids now? <laughs> I'm sure most of them do. That's so specific. You're not no. the only adult that has said something about oh her who has a kid. Probably the only one she remembers. Because you also know when you think someone's like cool. Because I'm sure, like I just remember once there was like a comment like before all that they thought I was like cool or something, and then you think someone's cool, and then they like say something. Uh-huh. Like, you know what I mean? And then you're just like, ugh. Like Trisha didn't remember exactly what she had said about the D'Amelios exactly but she was sorry for making Charlie feel the way that she did and how she was saying it on Jay Shetty's podcast and she also went on to talk a little bit about her past and how she's the last person people should listen to about stuff I don't know what I said but I apologize gosh I should just apologize for everything I'm just like on an apology tour for the rest of my life There's always something coming up, but I'm just like, I'm so sorry. Yeah, I'm also just really, like, dumb. When there's stuff that comes up from my past, I'm like, I'm just, like, the last person you should, like, ever listen to with anything. Because, like, I am smart with some things, but there's just so many things. I'm just so dumb, and, like, I don't want to comment on. And so if I'm ever silent on anything and a lot of things, it's because I'm just... I'm just saying dumb things. It's I have like the Rachel Zegler, Charlie D'Amelio effect where sometimes I just come across the wrong way. You know, that's why I can relate because I think I say something and then it comes across not right. You know what I mean? So this was Trisha's apology to Charlie and she kept bringing it up throughout the episode that she felt bad about all of this and that it clearly stuck with her all these years later since she was talking about it. Maybe the message will get to Charlie that Trisha feels bad now and that she's sorry, but That is what went down this week. Let me know what you guys think about all of this in the comments. I love you guys so much and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye guys.